This is Paul Kelly with Eat Sleep Box and Repeat. I'm joined by Tyler Danny. Tyler, how are you? All good, all good. Re- ready to go. Happy days, happy days. Um, obviously, it's it's Monday of fight week um, when we're filming this now. So how are you feeling? How, how, how's the camp going and how are you feeling now? Um, camp's going great, really. Weight's good. And just sharpening up now. A bit of sharp pads and that. And um, all the hard work's done. So I'm just, I'm eager for Friday. Get the weighing done some food and uh, get ready to, uh, to win that English title Saturday. So obviously you've got, well, Thursday you'll have your media commitments, your press conference, Friday you'll have the weigh-in yeah. and then Saturday's fight night. Apart from that, how does the final week um, of fight week look like for you? Is it just really a matter of cutting weight? You've, you've already done all of the hard training. Is it just more weight cutting? Yeah, yeah like the weight's good to be fair, but um, obviously a few pounds out. I don't like to walk around at the weight. I like to get on them scales for five minutes at 11, six really. And then that's it. Get back up to where I need to be. So just sharp, just sharp pads and then a bit of a few sweat sessions, get, get some water weight off and, and then we're there. The fitness, you're not going to get any fit in there, are you? So it's just the hard work's done, man. Just relax, relaxing week this one, really. Happy days. Obviously, um, in the opposite corner from you on Saturday is River Wilson Ben. What do you know about him and what he brings to the table? Um, well, he's done what he's had to do in a. He's unbeaten, but he's in the ring with the same sort of level that I've been in with. Um, my last fight, um, Derek Sizey, that's he was ten and out, and he, he he's not been in, in the ring with a guy like that. Do you know what I mean? And I've got the win there. And I've seen a few interviews. He's saying each time I've stepped up, I've lost. But I've I've just beat a ten and zero guy. Do you know what I mean? He he, he would, his levels above anyone he's fought. So we'll see. We'll see. We we'll see what he's got to say first at press conference as well. Like, do you know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to it. Really, see what he's got to say and look him in the eye. Um, I also believe I think you're the first South Pole I've ever faced. Does that give you an advantage? Um, maybe, maybe not. He, I'm sure he, we've knew about this fight for a long time, so I'm sure he's got adequate time to prepare for a southpaw. But like, like I don't know who he's sparring, but there's not many fighters like like me really. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know, but I just he can have as much pre- preparation as he wants. I I really think I'm just going to do a job on him. So obviously, as you mentioned there, the last time you were out was in um, June, I believe, against Derek Azazi and. How do you reflect on that fight now, um, now that the dust has settled on it? Um, does that give you a lot more confidence now going forward as well? Um, yeah, but I was confident anyway because my fight before that was against um, Udofia and that was a split decision in London. Do you know what I mean? Um, so I was still confident. It's just it was just glad to get out again because I never thought for like it was coming on to two years before that. Do you know what I mean? So good to be active. And um, yeah, but... You know, he's, he's confident because I've just beat a guy who's turning out and fighting another guy who's turning out. I've been there, I've done it before, and I'm going to do it again. And you know, like you say, the gym, the gym just, I was in about it before the last time. We've seen Zach Park at the weekend, if you've seen him against Marcus Morrison. Them just like the guys I'm sparring with, they're just, them, them another level to what River's going to be. Do you know what I mean? So I've had, I've had great preparation, really. Like Ozazi was when you beat him, um, I believe Wilson Bentz also 10 or no. So how confident yeah, are you yeah. that you can take his O as well? Is it kind of like a, I don't want to say written in the stars type thing, but it would be quite ironic, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, they just keep throwing them at me and I just keep, you know, I don't turn the fight down. Whoever they want me to fight, I'll fight and that's it. And like, that's only going to, that experience of fighting the size And it was a tough fight. He was coming at me for 10 rounds, do you know what I mean? So that's a good hard 10 rounds that I've done. It's not like an easy 10 rounds against like a journeyman or something. Do you know what I mean? He, he, was, coming, he was in it all the way, really. I just I was just that like, one step ahead of him. So I think that's gonna that's gonna do me great experience, really. And I think this can be the same with River. I, I'm just gonna be too good for him. So obviously you're fighting at the Sky Dome in Coventry. Um would it be fair to say that this is almost like a, a Midlands Derby? I believe he's from around that area as well, is he? Yeah, I think he, he's from that area, isn't he? He's like I'm still the away fighter, he's from Coventry. I'm going to Coventry, do you know what I mean? Um I think he's meant to be a big ticket seller and that, but I don't mind that. I enjoy that. You know, I, like, so I went to London to fight Udofia before. I don't mind. And I was, and like, obviously it's not miles away. It's like, I think it's about an hour's drive from where I'm from. So um, I'm still taking a few few people with me as well. So the atmosphere is going to be great, man. 
So um, this is a Mick Hennessy show, so um, live on Channel 5, I believe, as well, on Saturday. Does that yeah. add pressure? Or does that not matter to you at all? Do you do you like um no nah, I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not asked with that really. Um I, I think it's just it's good if anything, because like um terrestrial TV and stuff as well is, is gonna put you out there. And I th- I think it will be a good fight. I still I've, I've, I think I'm obviously better than River, but he thinks he's better than me. That's why it's gonna be a good fight. Do you know what I mean? I think we both believe that well, I know I believe in anyway. it. I know I believe that I'm gonna win. So it, it's gonna be an entertaining fight. So, if the more people that see it, the better. I think that's only a good thing that it's going to be live on television. So, um, you've obviously fought for the English title three twice before. Sorry, this is your third time. Yeah. And you just come up short on both occasions. But how do you ensure you do make it third time lucky this weekend? Um, I just think I'm getting better and better. I know like, the people have fought Reese Cartwright. I got stopped on cuts. Um, he's fighting Shakan as well. And the other one was a split decision loss away in London, do you know what I mean? Against Judofia, he's mandatory for the British now. Um, so, I think both of them guys would have beat River as well, do you know what I mean? He's, he's not been in the ring with anyone better than I've been in the ring with. Do you know what I mean? If I thought everyone he'd fought, I'd be 10 and as well. So, um, and it's them experiences, it just make me better. I feel like I'm getting better each fight. So, th- this is perfect timing for me now. And, um, I can't let this slip now. I can't let this slip. I'm, I'm, I'm so confident. Not arrogant. I know it's going to be a tough fight. I know what's ahead of me, but I really am confident I'm going to win. Do you think in a weird way you can use those defeats previously for the title and like the feeling you yeah. have had afterwards to your advantage this time, being like, I don't want to, I don't want to experience that feeling again? Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, especially with the Udofia one because I'm under, I'm under no illusions. You like, River's a NEC fighter, it's on an NEC show. The old show, the old show is in Coventry for him. Do you know what I mean? Because there's no, he's got no other Coventry fighters because he's the biggest ticket seller. They're going to want him to win, so I've got to make sure, like, I don't want to leave it even close. Do you know what I mean? I want to get him out there or or beat him that bad that people can't say, like, oh, we're giving him an argument to win. Because it's all against me, and I put it like that. But I'm hoping, you know, it's a fair result, really. So, what would winning the English title mean to you? It mean everything, really. Boxing's my life. Do you know what I mean? I've, I've, um, I'm gone full time at it as well now since um, beginning of September. So, uh, I've got to win. <laughs> I've got to win if I want to carry on this lifestyle that I've got now, um, and then push on. That's that's the plan. I, I do believe, like it's my all time with British champions. I believe I'm that level. Um, it's Len's British champion in the gym. He's out his foot now. But Zach, Zach's beyond. I think Zach's world level for me. Like, do you know what I mean? But uh, the, the, the aim's got to be for British after this. But I, I don't take my eye off this, really. It's a tough fight coming up. And I, like I said, I'm looking to do a job on him. That was funny. You've alluded to it there. I know, obviously, you don't want to take your eyes off this one. And you're, not, and you're not by any stretch of the imagination looking past this fight. But, you know, aspirations for 2022 with something like the British title... Um, and big, big more, big domestic fights be be something that you you want to happen next year. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think Linus Shadowfield is mandatory for Phoenix Cash. Um, I think Cash is beyond British level as well. So whether he'll stay there or not, I don't know. I think maybe he'll vacate and he'll fight someone else. But I'd like that rematch as well, really. Do you know what I mean? So that'd be good. And I think there's that many there's that many fights available now. We've Say boxers come on to it with Sky, you got Sowlands with Sky, you got uh, Matchroom, Frank Warren's Fight Zone. There's NSA, there's fights everywhere. Do you know what I mean? So I think British boxing has never been in such good hands, really, as exposure and stuff. So this this is the time now. This is where I need to rise and show I, I believe I, I'm able to belong at this level. Um, where do you see yourself? Obviously, you've mentioned uh, a few really good uh, middleweights there. Um, I think on Box Rec. You're ranked just outside the top 10. Do you see yourself as being better than those ones in the top 10? Do you think you can easily compete with those guys? Yeah, I can definitely compete with them. And I think I can beat them as well. I think really, you think you got like um, Eubank, Liam Williams, who are potentially fighting each other. I think Felix Cash. And I think it's, it's there for everyone else, really. Do you know what I mean? To fight. 
some great fights out there. Um, Denzel Bentley, Udofia. I think Mark Efron's gone up to Super Medellin. Um, there's, some, there's some good fights, and I think if you ask them all, everyone believes they can they can all beat each other. Uh, Danny Dingham, Andrew Robinson, he's a friend of mine, so I probably won't fight him. Um, there, there, there's some there's some great fights out there, but I think we need to fight each other really, and then you can start putting yourself above that above that little bracket, like where like you say, go up towards you, Bank Williams, Cash. That's if Cash is moving on. He's still the British champion, but I believe he's he's like he's surpassed that for me. Just off um, off topic a little bit from from yourself, I want to ask you about um, Canelo and w- w- what you think of that. What do you make of him and his performance at the weekend, and just kind of the achievements he's done so far in his career? Um, he's another level, isn't he? He's another level, but like it's a bit tainted in it. I think with the um, with the the old drugs and stuff, did he didn't he? Like I'd say, like personally, if you ask me, like well, he, he factually he got guilty, didn't he? Yeah. But um, but he's the money man in it, so there's a way back to it. Yeah, the six month ban really, which is a bit, you know, I've, um, other people get years, don't they, and stuff because he's the biggest guy out there in world boxing. He's a bit one of them, but like as a fighter, like I said, drugs is not going to make him any more skillful or whatever. But you know, I I do kind of like. It's a bit awkward. Like I, I do think he's the best. You know what I mean? He's, I think he's the best pound for pound boxer there is right now. Like I don't think anyone's really close, really. But like because of that, it's just me as in, in my opinion. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, I completely agree. Like I want to put him as my number one. But part of me, yeah. is like no, you can't put him as your number one because of that reason. But no, I can. I completely agree with what you're saying. Um. Finally, what can we expect from Tyler Denny on Saturday night? Um. I'm gonna walk by English champion, and I'm I'm planning to take him out there as well. Really, that's the plan. Because like I say, I know I'm up against it. I don't, I don't want to leave nothing to chance. I want to get him out there. But if not, then I was going to beat him convincingly. Either way, I'm gonna I, I can't wait. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Big platform as well to perform on, and uh, I think you'll see the best of me. Yeah, I was going to say that was my final question, but now that you've just mentioned that, what um, do you think, obviously, this with, with Channel 5 being a big platform and it being terrestrial TV, does a win here not just accelerate your career further, but, you know, does that put more eyeballs on you? Everyone's like, yeah, I'm going to follow Tyler Denny. Does that make, you know, it easier for you to make big fights in the future as well? Yeah, definitely. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Like, potentially. Um, you've got, like, I suppose it could work both ways, you know what I mean, if you're losing. But, I've got no, I don't like thinking about losing because honestly, I'm that confident in the gym. I've been smashing everything like around the track. I've just beaten times and times and um, he's going to be the best version of me in there. And I believe like the best version of me beats the best version of him. So I've, like, like you say, you're going to sell yourself on Channel 5 and you see what happens, get the win and get from there. Listen, Tyler, thanks very much for your time. Thanks for speaking to ESBR Boxing. Really appreciate it and all the best come the weekend. Nice one, thank you. Top man.